what is your assessment of the last revolutionary protests organized as it ended because it looks like everything has fizzled i really do feel that if we really want to mobilize the people we have to do it properly there's no shortcut we cannot come out and act on behalf of the people for the people of the people uh -uh. we have to come and act with the people and our revolution must begin in the communities and making people understand that they have a role to play in changing the uh, their own story by themselves. That they have the power, because that is what there's nothing else that the elites do but to make us feel that we do not have the power. There's nothing else the elites do that make you that make us feel or that at least the situation is fixed and cannot be changed. You know, and they mystify us. You know, we need to demystify them to the people. You understand? So that's to start from the community. It has to start. Whatever we want to do, we have to start from the community, from our communities. Everywhere we are, we have to start liberating ourselves. What we need is a, it, it, uh, is the resources to be able to connect, to connect the action. Yes, the action is isolated. We are all isolated. So we need the resources to connect, to unify our movements. This is this is very, very important. Would this also explain why um, the attempt by somebody like Eshawore to come out in the last election, but didn't really, I mean, do perform well according to the votes? Yes, because the AAC, this is not Eshawore's fault, as I said, the AAC wanted to come and act for the people. You understand what I'm saying? And Eshawore was beholden to whatever the AAC wanted to do. I think the Nigerian people do not under what is African Action Congress doesn't relate. What is what is that going to do for them? Doesn't relate. Within that name that did not come from the people itself. So this is what we must do before 2023. If we're going to be real serious actors, we need to go and create a thing that comes from the people, that comes from within the people. You know that is of the people. You know. Yeah, that defines us and the dominant theme of our of our existence in, in, in Nigeria today. We need to find that language that we all understand. Because, you know, this is what imperialism does also, to make sure that the people that are caught in its trap find it difficult to be free. So they go to a place like Korea. Where you are one, they divide you. So they go to a place where everybody was one. One Korea, everybody is a Korean. They go and turn into North and South Korea. <laughs> you understand? So they come to a place like Nigeria where everybody is different. Then they force you to be one. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? This is the act of imperialism. Now, how many people in Nigeria understand how imperialism affects their own existence? You understand? When I talk about imperialism, oh, Shenwe is blaming the white man for everything. I say, I'm not even blaming the white man for everything. Only for what we, ex what we experience under his control. If I'm going to put the blame of Nigeria on anybody's front door, I'll be stupid to put it in the front door of the Nigerians who knew, of the black people here, who knew nothing about the creation of Nigeria. How many black people were consulted when Nigeria was going to be created? Many people here slept one day as Yoruba, woke up the next day and they are Nigerians. Nobody knew. Everybody that was Benin slept one day as a Benin man, woke up the next day is Nigeria. So whatever Nigeria is, Whatever Nigeria is going through, definitely Europeans have a lot to explain. They created it. They have the blueprint. They know what they did it for. So the explanation definitely lies. We are just here trying to make the best of a terrible situation.